and it's going to be Bell up top. The first round selection. And we are underway. Monarchs, Minnesota United, FC2. Important to note that this is a high pressing team for Minnesota United FC2. That's how they want to play. They're going to be very aggressive, and that's something that the Monarchs and, and Lowry said that they did not do in their last match. They wanted to be more aggressive. He said the physicality wasn't really there, so this will be a good challenge for the Monarchs here at home. Adebayo Smith is hanging out, looking to poke it away. Storley. Second year with the squad. Bounces that one through the midfield, tapped ahead. Here's an opportunity on a breakout. Through the middle, looking for a shot, and it's blocked down. Gozo with the opportunity. And we're gonna get a red card early in this match. We see it, of course, Gozo breaks free, yes. And of course, that's a direct goal scoring opportunity. Pretty clean cut on that tug of a kit. And they're gonna let it play out. Silva on the throw in. Tommy Silva. Looking for Gozo. He's the one to draw that red card on a breakaway. But follow up with a 5-3 high scoring, I'll say. Loss to Vancouver. Aggressive in the box, physical play. And we're gonna get a whistle, luckily, for Minnesota. It's right outside the 18. Last one was bent to the left. Header, miss. We're searching for Bobby Pierre there, the 21-year-old Haitian center back. Just missed. Kaliskan is with Timbers 2 last year. Joins the Monarchs this season. Harvey on the toss. Looking for Adebayo Smith, and he's going to draw the foul. Certainly the number one target. Four. Looks like we have a player down. Tap to head. Headed down by Pierre. Well, the number nine for Minnesota brings it in, but it's intercepted. Kaliskin, head on a swivel, takes off. Lots of speed to him. And the defense is going to get there. Tap back to Smur, the keeper for Minnesota United, too. Oh, Marshall actually, or excuse me, Bell actually played at Marshall with Morris Duggan, who's a center back for Minnesota United. There's a shot, and it's high as Kanderson. Means there's going to be space in transition now if they can break free for the Monarchs. Sliding through, here's a chance for Silva, and it's blocked down. That was a good read by Bell. Silva was wide open, streaking towards that back post. Now Adebayo Smith is gonna take on two defenders and Alba, and he's undercut. We're gonna get a yellow card against Omar Alba. Crazy transitional sequence. This one, Adebayo Smith, The delivery, headed away. Player goes down, edge of the 18, no call. And it's intercepted. Flag was up anyway. Gozo has been the target and we've seen him of course draw that red card. Don't think Minnesota United too was prepared for the speed that he possesses. Here's an opportunity for Minnesota. It's tucked in the corner. Masanvi, clinical in the box. Luik Masanvi takes advantage of the only real scoring chance we've seen Minnesota United FC2 have today. Minnesota goal number And down 10 players. Looking to get back on the board is Gozo. Again, five goals for the Monarchs in their last game. Scoring was not the issue. Masanvi. Adebayo Smith is an option. Dishes it there. Adebayo Smith lets it fly. And that one is right to the keeper, Delgado. 
Rozo, aggressive. Gets the takeaway. Makes a move. Swerves to the left side. Cross, and it's blocked down. Smur is able to swat it away. Musanvi's fantastic finish. From Silva. Headed towards that back pose. Bounced around, and Smur is able to grab. Looked like a, a player took a couple of knocks there for the Monarchs. Gozo, again, puts on a bit of a press, and a heavy touch gets to him. Bell drives it up the middle, loses the defender. Bell takes a shot, and he curls it just off the mark. We are more than 30 minutes into this match. Right away, we had a red card, and things have been interesting since. Headed towards the back post, and that header has too much power on it. Kalskin dishes. Back to him, cuts it back off his right foot, stopped, second chance, bounces home. Gozo with the finish. Now Smur had made the initial save. Minnesota, the defense gets back in time. Silva ripped down. And a free kick coming for the Monarchs. And I think we're gonna see a yellow card. It's gonna go against Harvey. Out of Bayou Smith. Runs into a defender. Now we got a whistle and looks like a card, another one. It's gonna be given out against the Monarchs. Well, there's a whistle to end the first half. 1-1 one, one is the score. We started out with a red card. But at some point, as I mentioned, because they're playing their first six games, on the road, Minnesota wanting to pick up three points. They really don't have a choice. That one almost went in on. <laughs> but I like it for Minnesota. They're gonna have to be aggressive here. Middle of the six, headed away. Defense was there, second ball. And that one skied. Is Kanderson, no flag. And off the cross, it sails wide. Crashing in, physical play. Adebayo Smith takes a shot, stopped. Delgado off the rebound, he brings it in, but he's able to make the most of that chance. But that is the combo, Adebayo Smith and Masanvi, who will likely be the dangerous pair for Minnesota. Storley. To that left side, Kalaskin. Off the service, and it's headed away. Looking for a counter, but Silva on the left flank. And that one's gonna skip past Smur, the keeper. Fisher. Trying to push him back, and Gozo gets mauled by Fisher in the big center back. He's frustrated. He's going to get, I think, a yellow just because of that toss. He's been warned about it before Gozo. But this is what Gozo is doing, and he's just really pestering this defense so fast, too fast, frankly, for the center back pairing on the Minnesota side. And he picks up a, towards the middle of the six. Off the service, missed on a header. Chance for a second ball now. Put back in, header down wide. It was Barker John to last touch. That's actually kept in now for Minnesota. You could hear the crunch of that tackle. There's gonna be a foul against Real Monarchs. Fisher loses Gozo. It's been difficult to do that today. Randall, 1v1 against Storley. <laughs> Cleared out. Khan being swarmed, Harvey. Now Minnesota trying to possess. Silva with the tackle. Hassan V. It's been the best weapon in the wide spaces. 
As this one, Adebayo Smith in the air and Delgado leaps for it. Silva over the top. One touch. It's Kanderson. Shot, and it's in. Gozo. Xavier Gozo with the brace. What a great sequence for the Monarchs. Well, this one over the top, and I think Minnesota maybe thought this was offside. Is Kanderson two changes coming for Minnesota? Looks like Harvey is out. Gozo. All right, so now we're going to have that change that Minnesota had been trying to get in. Mine comes in. They're trying to send, looks like two players in. And we're going to see a yellow card. It's going to be given against Hall, the coach for it, it appeared. There's a shot for Bell, and it's chip time. We're going to have three subs come in for the Monarchs while we figure out this uh, situation here. All right, three changes, as I said. Well, there's been two goals for Gozo in this game. Number 88, Izzy, on Gozo is going to come out of this Number match. Pierre. Pierre will come out. So it's been a very interesting day for Minnesota United, too. Now their head coach gets a, a double yellow, so he is removed. Looking for a service, headed down, dealing with a second chance, blocked away. Now a counter opportunity, but it's stymied by the Monarchs. Bell, up the middle, shoots, and he's just off. We've just seen the one Gozo goal in the second half so far. Looking for some options now on the left wing. There's a big shot in, and it's right to the keeper and Smur. Ricochets off the defense. Uh, that was a high kick. And a yellow against Paul. You want to pick up three points at home. That's what they've set out to do. So far, so good but they still have about 11 minutes to go to make that a reality. Is Kanderson is going to get a card. Here come the Monarchs again, not taking their foot off the gas. Farts are, and that one's blocked. Smur again, uh, two chances there. I think we're going to see another card. Monarch's trying to head to the corner. It's not quite working out. Another foul against Real Monarchs. And here's a card. But that was just from Smur. Drives it low, and it's headed out. There's a final whistle. Not the look that Minnesota United two would want on that final play. But it's Gozo the hero, two goals at Zions Bank Stadium. And the Monarchs hang on for a 2-1 victory.